Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see for next loop. First, let's see what is for next loop. This is one of the most commonly used loop statements among all the programming languages. It executes and repeats the instruction present inside the loop for a specified number of times. It contains a variable initialized with a value and it acts as a counter for the variable. It exits the iteration only if the counter variable meets the stop value. You have an option to increment or decrement the counter variable after iteration by using the step keyword. Let's see the syntax of for next loop. The syntax of for next loop should begin with a keyword for followed by an variable. Let's say a variable can be anything. It, it can be a dollar sign followed by i or dollar sign followed by j or something but it should contain a variable and it followed by an assignment operator then in the start value you should provide a numeric value or a numeric variable where your for next loop should begin let's say if you want the for next loop to begin with a start value 2 then you should provide 2 here followed by a keyword 2 then in the stop value you have to provide a stop value stop value is again a numeric value and it decide when your for loop should stop but the stop value should be always greater than the start value when you are not using the decrement operator and it should followed by a step keyword if you want to increment or decrement by a value greater than one then you should provide the value in the step value followed by the step keyword for example, if you want to iterate an even number, then you should begin your variable with a value 2 and in the stop value, you can provide any value, let's say 10, then in the step, you should provide a value 2 so that it will skip the odd number present between the 2 and the 4. For example, it will iterate from 2 followed by 4 followed by 6. 8 and end at 10 if you provide 2 in the step value and your set of instruction should be goes inside the for next loop and you should end your for next loop with the keyword next let's see an example here you are almost familiar with SEAT editor so I don't use SEAT editor to demonstrate this example you can copy this example and paste it in the SEAT editor and you can get hands on on it here I initialized a variable i with a value 1 followed by a keyword 2 and end the value at 10 and here it display the instruction in the instruction area I have used a message box the title of the message box is for loop and it display the prompt message as iteration count is followed by a variable i so it should iterate from value 1 by displaying iteration count is 1 and if you click on ok then it should again display iteration count is 2 so this keep on displaying until the iteration count reaches 10 once it reaches 10 then it terminate the program this is how a for next loop will work thank you